And now, the never-ending adventures of Blaze Ranger. Greetings, fellow Rangers. Blaze Ranger here, and welcome to episode 44 of my Minecraft Let's Play series. And we are going to get right into it today. I've got an Ender Pearl in my hand. We're up here at our portal base, and that is still so cool. Well, let's go. Let's see where we end up. Nowhere. I wonder if it's not hitting the ground on the other side. I don't even know if it has to hit the ground on the other side. Let's try another one. Whoop, that worked. <gasps> the reason I'm doing this is I saw that ender pearl go over the edge, and I don't want to be... Oops. Whoa! I don't want to... Oh, he's mad at me. I didn't look at him, really. I got nowhere to go. I know he's not dead. Well, this isn't a good opening. Where is he? I gotta make sure I don't look at him out there. Now, where'd my portal go? <laughs> okay. The reason I threw those ender pearls is as soon as I came through the portal, I saw an ender pearl going down over the edge to the abyss. Well, into the void. Get away, you guys. And I didn't want to be teleported to somewhere in the void. I don't know what happens if you throw an ender pearl out there, whether you actually get transported to it or teleported, but. All I know is I didn't want to end up there. So I threw some ender pearls hoping that if I got teleported down there, I would get teleported right back up. So, uh, yeah, like I said, that wasn't kind of expected. And then I didn't mean to look at that enderman. So I brought my book, and we're going to have a quick look and just see where we are. Okay, so let's go into the book, 9 40. So, right there. And we'll go end city portal, P O R T A L, help if I get spell, minus 300 at 58, well, roughly the same level as before, and I believe it was 940. Okay, just in case we get lost up here. Minus 300, yeah, 940. Okay, so. Don't need that. So we're going to build just to get rid of all that. Wow. I can almost reach that. Yep. I brought some uh, netherrack because I thought it would be really cool because we'll be able to see it really easily from any great distance. So if we use it for bridges or anything, the bad thing is it breaks easily, but we actually have lots of it. And there's nothing really here that fights with us, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, I'm just going to pop down some supplies. And then we're just going to pop up here. Let's just go up here quickly. And we're going to have a look around. And if we can see a city, that's great. If we can't, then i got to start going out to those outer islands to see if we can find one somewhere. Let's put down the porch. So I'm just quickly going to go around the perimeter here. Might as well start on the perimeter instead of going to the center. And we'll go around and see what there is to see. So just hang on. Yeah, I can't believe it. Let's just increase our... Oh, that's amazing. What do we got to do here? Options. Video. Let's go to 16. Ready? Where did we see that ship? I tell you, I am so lucky sometimes finding end cities. I just can't believe it. 
I do have another game on a different computer I play when I'm at work, like during lunchtime and stuff. And I had to look forever. The closest end city was thousands of blocks away. And here I am, I just teleport in and boom, end city with a ship. That ship's out over the void. That's not going to be fun. Oh well, no big deal. Well, now that the the image is all filled in, we can see just how big this city is. This is huge. I like it. So we're going to head over there and see if we can find some shulkers and make some shulker chests. So. I'll meet you on the other side. Stay tuned. So we are now located on the other side. And you can see right there is our portal for spawning in. And basically just got a whole bunch of end stone and made a path straight to here. And set myself up a little base. And we are going to go grab some shulkers, shulker shells. I haven't been over here yet, but I did make this just to... That's funny, a little short one. <laughs> shell. I'm not quite sure from where. Uh. So this is what they look like. This little puppy right here. And we can dye them different colors. Look at this. What a massive thing. Oh, there's one right there. Whoops. 
It's right here. Hello. The bow is better because the... Dropped one, I saw it. No one said this was a smart move, but. So, so we'll go back in here, we put that on the top, or in the middle, that on the top, that on the bottom, and it makes a purple shulker box. So now we can place that anywhere, open it up, and we can put things in it. Uh, things that we don't need. It's not that we don't need them, but we don't have to carry them with us. So we can fill this up with 27 items, and once it's full, we just pop it off with a pickaxe and carry it with us right here and when you mouse over it you can see it shows the first few items that are in there if we were to put it down let's put it down and put even more stuff in let's just well it doesn't have to have those sound effects and we pick it up and we look at it oops in our inventory it says Coarse fruit, coarse flower, ender pearl, coal, and it tells how many of each, water buck, and seven more items. So you could theoretically, well not theoretically, you can do it. You can fill this with 20 set of an items and then pick it up. And now the slot that it's in, like imagine if I had nine um, shulker boxes or even more for each one. There's 27 items in here and 27 in there. So that's roughly 50 items. So that's, let's see, 100, 200. You can carry over 200 items in just these this one row. So if you were to fill everything up, you're probably cl carrying close to a thousand things. You don't even really need a base anymore. And you can color code them, like have red for food, green for trees and wood maybe. Um, a gray one for stone like you can have everything you want building materials all the stuff you have at home you can carry in this one box the only thing you can't do that i know of is put a shulker box inside another shulker box so but you know having even just one of these just almost it doubles what you can carry so imagine carrying a bunch of them so i'm gonna go snooping around the rest of this um fortress fortress in city and see what there is and then I'll meet you back here or meet you somewhere uh, 
Aha. Two chests. Nice. Eh. Ooh, that's nice too. Oh, that's very nice. Curse of Vanishing. That just means if you die... Oh, it's got a fish... Or it's mending on it. That's if you die, that means it gets lost. It won't drop that. So once it's gone, it's gone. So, I kind of figured there'd be a chest up here. So I just thought I'd show you that. Oh, let's actually let's just put this down real quick. I want to show you all the loot I've got. We ended up with 14 shul shulker shells, so that means we can make seven more shulker boxes. We've got the wings, of course. Did you see those boots I got? Look at this. Fire protection three, unbreaking three, feather falling four. That's exactly what I had before, except this one has mending which means as they take damage and as I collect experience the boots should repair themselves and I bet if I combine them with these ones I wonder if I can get I wonder if there a feather falling five no four is the top unbreaking three is as high as that can go fire protection well that can go up to four so we could combine them but Yes, it was a very uh, profitable thing, I would say. We've got to find more of these. 
You know, I thought, I wonder if I could just ender pearl home from here. That would be, well, I know I can't get to that island, but I bet I can get, get there. But I'm not going to risk it. So I'll meet you back. I'll meet you back down at the portal. We'll go home and or go through and oops, take it from there. Ooh, what happened there? I don't know. Okay, I'll meet you on the other side. Or on the other island, anyways. Don't slip, don't fall, don't slip, don't fall. ship that we try not to damage too much but uh, well you know how things go so I've got my two shulker boxes with all my stuff I picked up a little bit of end stone just in case I'm not sure I mean I can always get it where the dragon portal is but we're about to go home so let's go and hope for the best <gasps> oh nice oh really on the roof. Well, I suppose it could be worse. Oh, that's interesting. A little lighting glitch. Oh, well. I can live with that. I should put a fence up there just in case. Okay. Well, we're going to head for home. Take loot or take stock of all our loot that we've got. And that's going to be it for this episode. Hey, this is where we started the episode, actually. It's been very profitable. I love all the stuff we got. I like my new boots. Um, that's going to be it. Don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, I have no idea, but I still want to get a ocean monument. So that may be where I head off to next. But it's been a fun journey. A couple episodes. I appreciate you being here with me. So until next time, thanks for tagging along.